Hi guys, today you're gonna learn how to turn a PNG image into a vector. Click on File, click Import and choose your image. Now I'm gonna resize it, but first hit this lock to resize your image at the same proportion. Now I'm gonna trace this PNG uh, first in black and white. Click, select your image, click on path and click on trace bitmap. You will see this window trace bitmap. Please copy the same setting as mine and you click OK. Now you can drag your first SVG. When you see the nodes, it's OK. It's a SVG. Now I'm going to do another SVG. You click, change the setting to colors, and I'm going to do the scan to six, six scan. And always remove the background. And you can click on live preview. It's not always accurate, but sometimes I love to, to hit that box. Okay. Same step. You drag it like this. And as you can see, the, with six scans, the butterfly and the necklace are white. So I'm going to do eight. And it's okay. Now we can remove this window. As you can see, it's in SVG. Okay, I'm gonna delete this PNG and move on. I'm gonna show you why they put scans and when I choose six, eight, what does it mean? For eight scan, it means eight layers. When you work on Cricut, it's really important. So if I want to reduce, I select my image and I click on one node and I drag it. I will show you the eight layers, okay? At first, I didn't know, and some of my clients will say, when I use it on my Cricut, I can see a ton of layers. But I will say, no, but in my Inkscape, it's just one. Now I know. <laughs> okay. With this, it will be six. But don't forget the butterfly and the necklace. So it's eight. Okay, I'm gonna do Ctrl Z. To put it back. And I'm gonna change the colors. I will, I will take the, the tool pick colors to change the, the hair color. So I'm gonna pick this color. Okay, that's great. No, I didn't do Ctrl Z like six times because I don't want this image. So I'm gonna delete this image. So this is how you can reduce your layers when you trace a PNG image. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Doing that, you won't miss our new videos. Bye!